Hello everybody and welcome back. So we are carrying on with our Caden Live 2020 beginner series. Today we are going to spend some time talking about sound, okay? So we'll talk about how to do some sound adjustments, how to add in some background music, how to adjust some volume, so just the basic stuff that will get you up and going. So we'll add a video in here that has some sound, okay? Um, just gonna set up my project to, we'll leave it at 25 frames per second, cancel that. All right, so as I mentioned, the new version of Caden Live will split the sound and the video into the video track and the audio track, okay? So this is just a simple video with a bit of sound. Let's have a listen. It's just got that bubbling sound, water, okay? And yes, the video is supposed to be blurry, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we can make some adjustments to our sound here. So we can do a um, an effect for our sound. So let's have a look at our effects here. So we've got the audio correction here. And we can do a fade in, fade out. We can do a gain, a mute, normalize, pan, volume, and keyframe. Now there's a lot that you can do within the software here. Uh, most of the time, for me personally, I do some of the sound cleaning up in a separate program called Audacity, but we will talk about that at a later time. So just for today, we'll talk about the inbuilt tools in Caden Live. So let's just try a fade in, okay, effect. So to add an effect, we just click on here. We can just drag it down to our sound. And we'll zoom in here. What that does is it fades the sound in, okay? And we've got this little handle here that we can extend that fade longer or make it shorter. Anyway, let's keep it uh, around there and we'll see how it, what effect it does. All right, so it kind of fades that sound in. I know it's not really that noticeable. We might try to add Yeah, we might try to add like a, a music track actually. So let's add actually a music track, okay? Let's add some background music just to make this a little bit more prominent. Okay, so we've added a, a background music here, track. What I can do is I can mute this for now, okay? And we've got our background. So we'll try doing the same effect, the fade in, all right, and that will fade in, all right, fades in our sound. We can make it a little bit longer if we want, the fade, okay. Now let's just cut this here for now, so you can kind of manipulate an audio track like you would a video track. So you can do the same with cutting, right? So I can cut that there and move that away. Um, we'll add a fade out here just for demonstration, okay? And we'll fade that sound out, okay? So basic stuff, enough to get you by, right? And the way that you can delete effects is if you click on the clip, or in this case, it's our audio track, audio clip here. Let's say I don't want that fade in anymore. I can just delete it here, right? I can make adjustments here as well. So if you keep an eye on this, it'll move in and out. So that's another way for you to change, okay? So I wanna get rid of that. Gain, uh, let's just talk about that now. Gain is basically just, um, if you wanna increase the sound, if you wanna increase the volume, I don't use gain too much. What I do like is the volume keyframe, okay? So we're getting a little bit more advanced here. So hopefully I can explain this quite well. So this volume keyframeable effect is at the moment applied to the whole clip, okay? So if you play it, it's playing at that level. Let's say at this mark, okay? 
I want to decrease the sound, okay? So I can add a keyframe, okay? And at that stage, what I can do is I can, actually we'll add two keyframes, okay? Put it at zero. And I'll add another one here. And at th this point, I wanted to decrease the volume, okay? So you see the volume come down here, okay? And I'll remove this. I'm coming back to the the water clip here. I'll remove that. And I'll unmute it. Okay, because I want that water to come back in a little bit. Okay, let's see how that sounds. See, so you have that water in the background going on. And let's say at around here. I want to increase the volume, okay? So at this point, at this keyframe, I can increase the volume back to the normal level, zero decibels. So you'll see it come back. So we've got this little V that we've created or a U shape that we've created. So that's just the sound volume. So it's at, you know, the default volume that it goes down and then increases. So this is good when you're adding text or you're trying to do a voiceover and stuff. So that's kind of how you do it. So let's just have a listen. So that's kind of cool, right? So obviously you can make adjustments with this. Um, we can extend this out to have that gradual, you know, rise of the volume again. And that's pretty much it for sound. So I don't really know what the other, obviously mute is self-explanatory. Normalize is just normalizing the video, uh, the sound so that it's not too loud. Um, normalize two passes, I guess. I've never really used that. But for me personally, fade in, fade out is useful and uh, volume keyframe is pretty useful. Okay, I hope that helps you guys. Um, good luck with doing the sound. And again, I will check back in with you and we will add some more tools onto our skill set. Until then, take care. Bye bye.